Hey, what's up, what's up? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Rico, aka Rockstar Effects, here back with another upload for today. And this one's actually gonna be super fire. So, if you guys seen my previous video, you know that recently we did a full on binary options retreat slash boot camp for some of our members that flew in from all over the US to attend this boot camp. So, what I'm gonna be showing you now is one of the behind the scenes training and what I believe is probably the only market structure video you would ever have to see to really understand market structure, support resistance, break retest, you name it, I guarantee you it will make sense after this video. Now, this is not your typical video. In fact, I'm not gonna be doing the training here in this video. It's gonna be one of my mentors that actually hosted the boot camp for us, which was all paid for by the way, so shout out to them. Most of what I know in general, I learned from this guy right here, and he's not just your regular average Joe Schmo trader. He is an absolute savage on the chart. So make sure you got your pens ready, your notepads ready, take some notes. This is gonna be long, but I guarantee you by the end of this video, you will have had learned something about market structure and how to plot up and what to look for on the charts to get better at trading. So with that being said, Hulk smash the like button if you enjoyed, share it out with somebody that you think might enjoy this as well, and let's get to the video. Alright, you guys ready for this? Yeah. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. When the market makes an uptrend, what does the market need to do when the market makes an uptrend? All right? So let's start down here. The market's low. The market goes high. Then the market comes low. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. If the market comes here, what is it doing? What is it doing? If it goes there, what is it doing? Retesting. Okay. Let's, all right, I'm gonna give you guys the terminology, you guys follow it. When it comes over here, it's creating an equal high. Like she said, she actually nailed it, right? When it comes over here, it's creating an equal high. When it comes back down here, what is it doing? Equal low. Creating equal low. When it comes back over here, what is it doing? Equal high. When it comes back over here, what is it doing? Equal low. As long as it stays in this range, what is this market doing? Consolidating. Consolidating, right? Okay. If this market needs wants to go in an uptrend, what is the market? What does the market need to do? Right? What does it need to do? Does it need to go here? No. Does it need to go here? Break the high. Okay. What about here? Okay. What did the market do right here? Right? It's creating a new high. This is all market structure. That's what I'm saying. You guys know this. But I need you guys to see this on the market. It creates a new high. The minute that the market creates a new high, the first thing that that is telling you is that the buyer is taking control of this particular market. That's all that means. The buyer is taking control of this market. It's very simple. When the market creates a new high, just like that, when it breaks above a new high, the market is going to give you a pullback. Yes or no? Yes. yes. And on that very, very first pullback, what should you expect the market to do? Continue to go up. Now, if this market wants to continue to go in an uptrend, what is the next thing that it needs to do? What, what does it need to do? What does it need to do? Retest. It needs to break the previous high. That's it. Market's in an uptrend. Now the market pulls back. That's your entry. The market goes up. What is it doing again? Breaking the previous high. Right? This is very, very simple. Very, very simple. Okay? Market goes up, the market pulls back. What is that? Retest. Your retest, that's gonna be your entry. If the market keeps going up, to keep going in uptrend, what does it need to do one more time? Break, break, break okay, so now the market is doing this. The market is in what kind of trend again? Uptrend. Uptrend, very simple. Now, the market comes here. What is the market doing? Retesting. And then when the market goes there, what is it doing? Equal high. Equal high. Boom. And then the market comes here, what is it doing? Equal low. Okay. Then the market comes here, what is it doing? Equal high. Then it comes here, what is it doing? Equal low. And then when the market does this, what is it doing? What is the market doing now? It's breaking the low. So the minute it breaks the low, what's, the, what, what's that first, what's that telling you? Who's in control now? Zayn doesn't tell them their control. 
When the market pulls back, even if it pulls back past the low, and let's say it pulls back into here, what is the market doing? Market is creating a new low. It's still creating a low. As long as it stays above the high, it's creating a low. From here, the market goes down here. What is the market doing now? Equal low. Equal low. Now the market pulls back up here. What is the market doing? Equal, Equal high. Equal high? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now from here, this is where people start to get confused in trading, 1,000%. What should the market be doing from here? Drop. It should drop. It should drop. Now the market comes back down here, then what happens? Now, now, now what happened? What just happened over here? It broke the low. So when it broke the low, what, what's, what trend are we starting to form? Why, why are we starting to form that? Exactly. One and two. Now if the market pulls all the way back up to here, what is the, what is the market telling you now? It broke the highs. What high did it break? Previous. The previous high. Exactly. So if it broke this previous high and it pulled back up to this previous high, what should happen from here? It should drop. Should drop. And then go where? Up. And then when it pulls back, where does it go after that? Where should it go from here? And then and then what if it goes back to here? Then where does it go? Up. When it's here, look at this low, look at that high, look at this low. If it breaks this and it comes back to here, where should it go next? You think it should go back up? Okay, and then if it comes back here? And then if it goes there? Down. And then if it goes here? Up. All right, I'm gonna ask you guys this question. What trend is this in? Consolidation. I want to say head and shoulders. Uh, up. Is that uh, up. Who said up trend? Who in here thinks this is an up trend? I still think it's still an up trend. It's still an up trend. Exactly. Yeah. This is still in an up trend. It hasn't broken out of the trend. It has not broken the previous low. Every time the market moves, it's going to create a high range and it's going to create a low range. And all you're doing is you're looking at the previous range. That's it. But as the market is doing this again, and again, and again, and again, the hardest thing about trading that I've learned from not only training myself, to untraining myself, to retraining myself, to training members, to untraining them, to retraining them, the hardest, hardest thing that I learned is to untrain what you already know. If you have developed bad habits in trading, the hardest thing this weekend from going to this market structure training and going through all the strategy training that you're gonna do with the educators tomorrow, the hardest thing to do is to break the things that you already know that become habit. And it's hard for you guys to get out of those and that's my, that might be a big reason why you can't be profitable. So that's why I said this week when you come in, take a lot of notes and all the belly to belly trading is gonna be big because as the market's doing this consistently again and again and again and again, this is what is going to make us a better trade. So this is why we put this down on the one minute time frame. So let's look at this. We're, gonna, we're, just, we're just gonna start the structure here and then we're just gonna follow it to the current market value, okay? And if this ever breaks the rules of the, of the market structure, let's identify it here, if it ever breaks the rules. Not if, you know, you understand what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> All right. All right, ready? Market is low, market goes high. Yes or no? Yes. All right, from here, the market is gonna end up going low, the market pulls high. Now, the market goes low, what should the market be doing next? Should be going high. But let's take a look. Let's take a look. In order for this market to continue downtrending, when this market pulled up, in order for this market to keep downtrending, what did this high need to do? Previous high. Retesting the previous It could have not break in this previous high. See that previous high? Mm -hmm. There's the range. That's the high, that's the low. So when this market went up, the most that this market was allowed to go up in order, because it broke that low. So high, low, high, low, high. In order to keep coming low, this market would have need to have respected that high to keep coming down. But when it broke that high, what did the market do now? It set the new high. Now when it set the new high, the market came low. What did the market do from here? It set a new high. It set a new high. 
boom, that pullback. Now, once the market created that high, the market pulls back, this is your next entry, where does the market go again? Another high. Another high. Boom, it broke the high. There goes your new high, there goes your new low in the market. You guys see it? Yes. From the high, market goes high, high, low, from low, it goes to high. From high, where does the market go next? Low. low. Now we have a range. Low, high. Now let's read the rules. When that market created that high, low, the market pulled back, what was the first sign of the next direction of the market? It broke the low. It broke the low. So now when the market pulls back, to the previous what? High. To the previous high. Did it respect the high? Yes. And then where did the market go? Low. Boom. Now we have the new low. Market goes low. Market pulls back high. Yes or no? Yes. Now we have our range. Market goes high. Market goes low. We have our range. Now let's take a look. Market goes back up high. What does the market do? Does it break that high? Yes or no? Yes. Boom. Starts a new high. Now, that's the first sign that the market's gonna do what next? Reverse. It's gonna reverse. So now the market pulls back. The pullback is where we find our entry. And then the market goes where again? High. high. Now the market just set a new high, yes or no? Yes. Market set a new high. From the new high, the market pulled, created the low. Now we have the low. Market goes from low, high, low, high, low, high, Low. What is this market doing right now? Consolidating. All right, so let's take a look. Obviously, the market stays in this range. Yes or no? Yes. Market stays in that range. All righty. Now, what does the market do next? Break the high. When the market breaks the high, it sets the high. Look here. Remember, this is the one second. Market pulls down, sets the low. Yes or no? Okay. Now, what do we do? What do we do? What happens here? What do you do here? Take a call. You take a call. Exactly. Why do you take a call? Because it broke the high. Man. My man. Can we give him a round of applause? <laughs> All right. Is anybody confused on what he just said? Does everybody see how, how no. he got the buy here? No. The first sign of the new direction of the market is when the market breaks, breaks the high or breaks the low. What did the market do here? It broke the high. It broke the high and it created a new high. And then when the market pulled back, it pulled back. It pulled back and when the market pulls back, that's a retest. Do you go in for a buy or a sell? Well, you're going for a buy. Exactly. You're going for a buy and the buy is back up to the previous high because that's your range. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to trade in the range. You see it now? Mm -hmm. range. Low. Market pulls back up to the high. You guys are gonna get the cheat code small with a million. You guys are gonna learn. We're gonna give you this <laughs> private strategy and the candles are gonna turn yellow and you're gonna be able, it's gonna be able to pick up market structure reversals before you can. Exactly, it's gonna show it reversals. Like colors. It goes from low, it goes back into the high. When it goes back into the high, that's obviously considered a resistance. You can choose to sell, or uh, you can choose to sell there if you want, but then you wait. Now let, let's let's just keep the market structure going. Again, this is just about the repetition of trading in the range. Does that make sense, to everybody? Yes. That's all this is because as this is happening again and 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 again, you get lost inside of the market, and that's where people go wrong because you will be able to look at it. You'll see a buy, Rico will see a sell, right? Both have valid reasons, but it's gonna do what the structure is telling the market to do. And it's always good for that first trade. It's always good for that first trade, all right? Market's high, market goes low. Now from here, the market, what, does, what did the market just do? Break the previous break low. Break the previous low. Now when it broke the previous low, that's the first sign that the market's gonna do what? Sell. It's gonna do what? Sell. It's gonna start going down. Now the market pulls back up, the market again pulls back up, and it stays in this range, and I don't want to go through this whole entire thing all over again, but after it gets back into this range, where did the market start going? Boom, the market start going low. Now look, let's check this out over here. Now you have two lows. You have this low, right? You have this low, 
and you have this low. Now I'm gonna ask you guys this question. If you guys, when you guys are trading this, what low do you guys pay attention to? What low here do you actually pay attention to? When the market first broke into this range, that's when that low was valid. Right. When it pulled back up, that's when that retest was valid. Now that it broke low into this range, that's when this range is valid and you pull back up. So you see it pulled back into there, it came low, it stopped hunted, and then it kept going so down. Let me ask. So this is all I want to show you guys for the night. Um, I know today is Sunday and tomorrow's Memorial weekend. If you guys want to trade, you guys have the rest of the night to be able to do whatever it is that you guys want to do. I did my job tonight. Let's all right? go. Amazing, dude. It's so true what, what Manny said. If you Google, I mean, YouTube, Forex, like, he's like the one that pops up. Even I literally just see what's out there. That's my mentor. Like, HFX binary live trading sessions. You were Rockstar FX. I was like, this man is, every, is everywhere. I actually got another. <laughs> he just uploaded a video. Yeah, dude, I mean, uh, literally when, I know because it's a lot, I could imagine the content, this and that, but as you're working, you, that's right. content. Exactly. And that's how I was like, you know what, I do the sessions, if I just record them. Put them on, when I'm doing hours, I'll be putting my live sessions on, and then like break it down, like analysis. Yes. While yes. I'm getting into each trade and stuff yes. like that, to help people understand right. more than just like looking at the trade, but understand why I'm getting yeah. into yeah. it. So I'm doing that She's now. She's amazing. Yeah. Just like a rock star Stay in tune with everything Rockstar FX, including coaching and one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Make sure you join my personal Telegram group down in the description below at Teach Me to Trade. And if you haven't already done so, add me on Instagram as well at Rockstar FX.